So, so this segment of the video is going to demonstrate the evaluation of coordination, or cerebellar function primarily. Next, we're going to be able to do point-to-point -point movement. So what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to start with your right hand and take your index finger and come out here and touch my finger. And we want to try and get them to the extremes of movement. Now go back and touch your nose and then my finger. Back to your nose and my finger again. And one more time. They should be able to do this um, in multiple different locations with, again, uh, not losing the direct path. And now if we could do this with your other hand. Thank you. And again, to your nose, my finger, your nose, my finger. Okay, thank you. We do the test the same thing in the lower extremity by doing heel to shin. So I'd like to take your right foot and lift it up against your knee and just run it down the front of your shin. And do the other side. All right, thank you. Next, we're going to evaluate gait. So I'm going to ask the patient to stand up and walk for me across the room. And again, just evaluate how well they can do the walk and does it appear to be a coordinated movement. So if you could stand for me. What I'm going to ask you to do is walk over to the corner of the room and then walk back. And walk back for me. So again, at this sense, just testing for normal gait. You may not pull out an ataxia, though, um, with just normal gaits. You want to do some other additional testing. So what I'm going to ask you to do now is what we call a tandem walk. So it's like walking on a tightrope. So I want you to want to put one foot directly in front of the other. And if you could just walk over to the corner doing that for me. I'm going to ask you to walk back. Only when you walk back, could you do that by walking on your toes? OK, thank you. And now I'm going to ask you to do the same thing again, only if you could walk on your heels with your toes up in the air. All right, thank you. You can walk back now. Testing for both toe walking and heel walking is going to not only evaluate for coordination, but in addition also evaluate for distal strength. 